Hi there, my name's Callum Jones. Um, I'm about to give you a tour, a video walkthrough of 1 slash 5 Little Reef Street. It's a fantastic little property located in a very quiet street. Um, a lot of people don't know this street even exists. It's down basically beachfront and it's um, a dead end street, a cul-de-sac. So the property itself is a two bedroom, one and a half bathroom townhouse, which is sort of basically behind me as we speak right now, number one. So we're going to go through, we're going to have a look through, a walk through downstairs and upstairs, and then we'll go back down towards the beach and you can get a better idea of where we are and what the property is. Thank you, and I uh, look forward to showing you around. Okay, number five, Little Reef Street is a collection of three townhouses, all the same size, two bedrooms upstairs and bathroom, and downstairs we have a laundry, bathroom, toilet, and living area. So each of the three units has a carport, and to the left of number one, we have the pool, <clears throat> which is a very well maintained pool. It's very cool, it's tiled, and uh, even on a hot summer's day like today, it is fresh and it gets a bit of afternoon shade, which is lovely. So number one has got the benefit of being an end unit and it has access to past the chairs there to the pool and also light and balcony to the front. So, pretty special in terms of location of the three. Let's just go up the driveway. An idea of the gardens of the property as well. So, the particular apartments were built in 1987. They're very solid. You'll find it's concrete block all the way around. You can see here the thickness of the walls and uh, very solid construction. So downstairs we have our laundry area and outside bathroom. We have our carport that's roughly three meters by six meters in length. We have security screening to window and front door. We have an air conditioning unit that's well hidden by the timber frame. So in the sale, all the furniture that you see is included. So good size lounge room. The wall has been opened up to create a larger sort of open area, which has got a nice lovely flow to outside. Um, we've got all the new um, screen doors, plantation type shutters attached to all the sliding doors. And the area is um, really nice planted out and private space, as you can see. A great asset to this particular villa <coughs> apartment is that you've got access direct to the pool down the side. So straight across. So it's the only apartment obviously in the complex that has the access to the pool. Um, looking back around and back into the unit itself. So downstairs we have the living area, as you've seen. And then we've got the kitchen area as well. So quite a compact kitchen, but um, very good quality. We have a composite stone bench top. We have lights underneath the cabinetry. We have a, a cooktop, of course, a little convention style oven, dishwasher. We have an integrated fridge freezer. So it's well hidden away and the freezer on top. Things like some um, good storage features and again closing. So plenty of plenty of cupboards, plenty of uh, good detail. And soft closed drawers. So downstairs, we also have understeer storage. We'll just have a look at that now. So there's plenty of room in here. And you, what you see is upstairs, there's, there's ample storage. We have the hot water system. Um, fuse box. Okay, upstairs we have uh, the first of the two bedrooms. This is a very large room. 
It's roughly about six meters by three meters. We have air conditioning. We have a private balcony in the bed. And you can see the lovely elevated ceilings as well. One of the things you find with the apartment of the townhouse is plenty of storage. A hanging space on one side and covered space on the other. So that's really good. Again, solid concrete walls between the rooms. And again, a balcony, which we'll go out to. Lovely area to sit and enjoy the, um, the surrounds. We have across the road, we've got the beach walkway that we'll see a bit later on. And from the balcony, we look down and we see the pool area, which is well maintained and well shaded in the afternoon. So it's lovely and refreshing in the pool. Not cold, just, uh, just takes the uh, edge off. And again, we look down, pathway, driveway, and back inside. So again, another feature is all the storage that you'll see. In the hallway, we have a, a large cupboard um, for linen on both sides. As we head down towards the large second bedroom as well. So the second bedroom, like the first, is oversized. We have roughly three metres wide with a great outlook and air conditioning by around about five metres in depth. Enough room for a couch or a seat in this in this case. And at the end we have more shelving in the walk-in row and hanging space to the right hand side. So both the upstairs bedrooms uh, have use of the bathroom. You'll see it's well renovated, very light, very neutral tones, shower recess and vanity area. Again, being an end unit, you have the, ex the special side windows, which is great for breeze and also light. So that's uh, upstairs at the property. We'll head on down now and look at the pool area. So at the end of the street, straight in front of us, is a pathway that takes us down towards Four Mile Beach area, the suburb, where you'll find the beach shack, uh, the Barrier Reef Tavern, um, the golf course as well. There's a pathway at the end of the street just down there. And there's also another beach access point. But no free roads. Um, the only traffic would be local residents. But again, very quiet street. Just gonna have a quick walk along the, the beach walkway down to the beach. You see there's a mix of uh, older trees, like eucalypts when we look up, and regrowth. It's a well-formed track, and again, it'll be lightly used, and really only for residents along the street. It's uh, very hot outside, but it's very cool through here. A lot of shade in the canopy. So we have a bridge just here where we go over some wetland stuff. This is a I guess a low area that runs along the front of all these all these homes.
pretty well concealed pathway at, at the beach end of the property. Let's got the phone adjust to the uh, the beach. So at the end we have Port Douglas Village Central. Probably about a 35, maybe 40 minute walk along the beach. We have the islands out to the north. Straight to the east, you can see out there we have low isles, which is where the, most of the reef boats go. And we look along the beach back towards Four Mile suburb and at the very end, the Cairns, the Cairns is the southern region. So a well concealed pathway from the beach, but right at your front door. Okay folks, thanks for watching the video walkthrough of one slash five Little Reef Street. It's been a pleasure to show you through. Um, it's always very hard to sort of demonstrate how about a location and the quietness and the appeal of a property but i'm pretty sure that you will sort of get an idea of what's special about one slash five little reef street um very quiet um great location and moments from the beach if you have any further questions on the property you would like to know anything about previous rental incomes give me a call 0437 981 195 or send me an email to callum at the agent portdouglas.com. Look forward to hearing from you and thanks for watching the video. Bye for now.